Hey friends, what's going on? It's your friend JC. What's up? So right now what we're going to do is we're going to make um, Patty LaBelle's sweet potato pie. And it's my first time doing it. I hear it's delicious. I've um, heard about it many a times and I've never had the, my hand, got my hands on the recipe you know, to tell today. So I decided since Thanksgiving's coming up soon, let's go ahead and just try this out. Um, so I have water boiling for the, for the um, yams or sweet potatoes. And I'm going to add in... Um, about a teaspoon of coarse sea salt because it says just it says the salt to water the water when you're doing it okay um so i have the water boiling and so what we're going to do is i i cut them up um on the instructions it says to put them in and put them in the boiling water with the skins and everything else i peeled them and i cut them here we go see that i peeled and i cut them there's in big there's in um, big chunks <clears throat> nothing fancy but i peeled them and everything because I don't like doing it after they're cold, after they're, they've been cooked and everything, because then you get all mushy and it's it all over you, and I just don't like it. So I decided to do it beforehand. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this, and so um, it's asses for three of them. But when I went to store it before I even found, because I was gonna make sweet potato, sweet potato pie anyways, and so before I found the recipe for Patty Labelle's sweet potato pie, um, I was gonna make my own sweet potato pie that I have my recipe before, and so I had bought four. Um, Sweet potatoes, and they weren't like too big or whatever. They're like an okay, they're a pretty okay size. Um, so I had bought those originally. Um, so I just cut, I just um, peeled and cut the four that I had bought for my sweet potato pie. That was gonna make. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring this back to a boil. I'm gonna leave it on high. What's well, on medium high actually? So um, we're gonna leave it on to the medium high, and they're gonna, it's supposed to take, take about thirty to forty minutes to cook. So I think because I cut them up and I took the skins off, it might cook faster. I know that uh, because of the skins being off of them, it takes away from the nutritional value or whatever. But I don't see how it's going to have a nutritional value um, to be more n uh, nutrition, give you more nutrition or any kind of anything um, because of the fact that it's, we're not using the water or nothing from it. We were just using the potatoes. So a lot of times people would like to have you do it because of the starches and everything from the, the peeling and everything else goes into the waters and you know that you're going to use and you're gonna, everything else. But we're not using the water for it. We're just going to be dumping it out and rinsing them off and making them cold. And then we're going to be um, working with them. So I decided to go ahead and peel them, cut them. But it's up to you. If you guys want to not do that, you guys can leave it um, whole. Um, put them in or cut them in half or do whatever. These are um, the skins on until they're, they're done. Me personally, I don't like doing that with any kind of potatoes. I like to do it beforehand. Um, and so in the meantime, while, while these are starting to boil, we're going to work on um, the pie crust that I also got for her for sweet potato pie and pie crust. So we're going to work on the pie crust with us um, while we're working on this. And um, I'll see you guys over at the pie, the pie crust making station. So I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, we are back. Now we're right here at the pie making crust making station. Okay, so um, in this right here, we're going to sift out some flour. So I have one and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour. And I also have half a teaspoon of salt. I put it inside of there. You probably can't see it. I dumped it like right in here somewhere. Um, so we're going to sift this up. So one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to sift it up and sift it out and sift it out and sift it out. Let's go ahead and put the rest of it in there. So we're just going to sip the sip the shake it, 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 shake it. Just don't break it. Don't break it, don't break it, just shake it. So I always put the salt, I always put like all, you know, the dry ingredients together like this and put them in there. Bing, 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 bing. Now, then whatever's left in there, just rub it through real fast. Here we go. So I'm gonna put this aside. All oh, those yams are still those sweet potatoes are starting to smell really good. Um, I can smell them already. Okay, so we have this, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our um and this is for vegetable shortening. I'm putting in vegetable margarine. Um, because I like the margarine better than the shortening. It says you can use the butter flavor shortening and everything. I don't like that stuff. So I usually use margarine. And then, you know, you just cover it in. 
Um, it was cold. I put it in the freezer for like 10 minutes. I'll run the refrigerator to the freezer for 10 minutes. Let's use my hand real fast. Fast by the way. I did bring out the, the, um, I can't remember, I never remember what it's called. The dough cutter or whatever, you know, this little baby thing. I love it, but I love it for all kinds of other things. I use it for so many other things the way I will use it for. So, you know. So basically all this all this crust is gonna be is um um the vegetable shortening, um, water, fl um, flour, sugar, that's it. That's the major. So I was looking through um, and trying to find the. Well, I, I stumbled up, I stumbled across the recipe for Pat of the Bells um, Super Bell Pie. Uh, um, just I was looking for something else. I was watching. Um, um, Dark History with Bailey Sarian on YouTube earlier. And it was a new episode where um, she's talking about Betty Crocker. And um, so it was quite interesting. So um, I was looking, I had started looking up um, um, a recipe that I want to do um, that I had just learned about today. And so, um, and um, Bailey, 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 Miss Bailey is the one that um, mentioned it, um, this um, recipe. So I went looking for it and I found the Patty LaBelle. Um, super Hell Pie, and so I was like, oh, I was gonna make it today anyway, so uh, Super Hell Pie today, but might as well go with it, so, so we have, now, now we have it incorporated where it's like pea size shaped and everything, okay, and I have a third cup of water, and it's cold water, so what I do is I, <clears throat> I went through and I, um, just measured it out and stuck it in a, a glass cup and stuck it in the refrigerator, <laughs> So yeah, so um, the next, my next, I think my next thing, because I was getting ready just to start um, doing um, holiday, just holiday videos, and I might just do that anyways, but in the meantime, I'm also going to um, try the recipe that I learned off of Dark History today. What I learned off Dark History, it, it, there was, so she made it, she made a suggestion, she had, she had commented about something, um, and so uh, when I heard it, I said, oh, I never heard about that, so I said it. I just want to say what it is yet. I was going to wait. I'm going to wait until um, the video comes out. So, yeah. So, um, so that's how about that. And that's all. So, I think, um, I think now I'm, I'm going to start just doing for the holiday because, you know, I'm um, pretty sure Thanksgiving is like in two weeks. Um. And so, um, I should have started this earlier, but I didn't. Why? Well, I, I do have, um, videos already done up for, um, holiday, you know, some stuff. Then I have a ham, like a ham and all that, that I've already filmed already. Um, that's how I haven't put them together yet, so. But I have, like, a um, this year I wanted to do, uh, something that my family does traditionally every year, but I haven't done it in the last couple of years because no one really gets into it that much, like how I was when I was younger, but I decided just to bring it back because I want it, I'm missing it, and I just want to have it, because I said, you know, I mean, when's that, it's something you have, like, for your whole life, and all of a sudden, it's like, for over a couple of years' time, you just don't feel like dealing with it, and making everything just, you know, like, whatever, um, I've been craving it, so now I'm like, you know what, I'm making it, and so I'm, I'm going to film why I do that. So, I mean, I have some, several, several things that I want to do, but I just want to do, um, a bunch of holiday, um, videos. If you guys have any that you would like me to do, or, um, that you want to learn how to make or something like that, let me know, and then I can do those videos for you guys ahead of time. Because I'm probably going to do from now until after New Year's, I'll probably be doing some of the... Even though I think it might be dumb. <laughs> Holiday time will be over by then, but still. Maybe I'll download um 
maybe I'll, I'll download more than one video a week um, to do um, the thing, uh, what's called the holiday um, video. Videos. That way I could do, you guys can have like, because I, I, I've, I've sat down, last year when I was I'm, I'm thinking of the channel, when I came down to the holidays, I um, started filming when I was doing um, the holiday cooking. So that's why I already have the holiday cooking ones done because well, I, I don't have all of them, but I have some done because I thought about when I started doing it, I started getting ready to cook, I started thinking about it and started doing them. Um, so I do have a few from that I had already do before I even had the channel up. Um, and then um, there's my ideas I have for now. So I might just do all that and maybe I'll drop a couple of videos a week to be able to do like the whole courses and everything else. But um, if you guys want to know how to make something or you don't know how to make something, something for the holidays, let me know and I will get it done for you guys um, before the holidays are um, up and over. So um, give me the, So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this, now that it's finished, I'm going to get it and I'm going to get some saran wrap. And, um, and I forgot to bring saran wrap over here. So I'm gonna get some saran wrap, wrap it real quick, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then we're gonna roll it out and get it ready to go. Um, in the meantime, I think we have about 15 minutes left with the yams, uh, with the sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna, um, when I go off camera right now, I'm gonna check them, and I'll be back on when they're ready. So I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, friends, we're back. <clears throat> Excuse me, okay, friends, we're back. So I put the four sweet potatoes inside of our um, blender. So, our mixer, I mean. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mix them so it's really creamy, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out with us. So we're gonna get them really creamy. And they are looking creamy. Okay, so now I need to measure out three cups. There's three cups for three cups of it. So. I think it might be just about three cups as it is already. I'm gonna say it is, because it 
You know what? Yeah. It's gonna be considered three cups because it's it's um that was getting close to the two because this is only a two cup holder. So yeah, we're gonna consider this three cups. So the four of the potatoes I got, which was good and becoming about perfect because we need three cups of the the sweet potatoes. So just remember guys, you just need three cups of it. Um if it ends up being a little bit more than the three cups when I go and finish up the recipe, um, I'll try it. If it needs to be adjusted, I'll adjust it. But as far as we're concerned for right now, we're only doing it off of the her exact recipe for three cups. Like I said, if, it, if I end up, because I, it looks like it's going to be about the three cups. It, measuring out to be what that was anyway, so we're going to leave it like that. Like I said, if I need to adjust it, I'll adjust it. Just for this, because if anything, it's like maybe a quarter cup over. It's not by much. I know that. Okay. So now. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put in. Um, we're going to put in a. Rest of our ingredients, which is going to be. Seven tablespoons of butter. Okay. And two eggs. We have a quarter cup of, I'm using milk. Um, it says half and half, but I'm using milk. I did not get any half and half, and I did, long, did not want to run to the store just for half and half. So I'm just using milk. But the recipe calls for half and half. Um, you guys know I'd like to just adjust it to whatever it is that we have, and I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna go run to the store just like I said, for half and half only. Um, that's the only thing I didn't have on hand that was in the recipe. So I'm just using regular milk. And if you guys want to use your, whatever you guys use it for your substitution milk, go ahead and do it. Um, and then we have half a cup of granulated, granulated sugar, which is right here. And we have, um, I also put in three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, which is in here also. And I have one teaspoon of nutmeg, which is in here. And um, half of a cup of brown sugar packed. Okay. So it's brown sugar, white sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg are all in here. When I was reading off the recipe, it said put everything in there together like that. So this is what I'm doing. Um, and then go and start on low. So these are all the ingredients we need for this. So we're going to go ahead and start on low and go from there. Oh no, we're good. It's starting to throw it at me. We are good. It is fired. It should not be throwing it at us. It's doing so well too, and then it started just tossing it around. It's also starting to getting splattered with stuff. I'm gonna do a quick bite down right now. I'll clean it up better for later after. Um, We did not see that. I do that every 
single time. Trust me, I don't know what, why, but I do. Every time I take it out with these beaters, every time I take it out with these beaters, I always end up to ruin it all over myself. I know it's gonna happen, I expect it to happen, and then no matter how much I try not to do it, I still end up doing it. Well, I guess it's not holiday time when you're making a mess all over everything, huh? <laughs> There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the spatula to finish this up. I think I always use the mixer. I mean the um, whisk, but this is a working one. You know what, let's go ahead. Make sure we incorporate it right. Well, it tastes good, so it tastes like it's chewed. So I'm not gonna, I don't need to adjust it, so we did good. I honestly think it needs a little bit more. Actually, I'm thinking about, I need a little bit more sugar, but that's okay. I'm thinking vanilla, maybe. The, her recipe doesn't ask for vanilla, but I'm not gonna try. I don't wanna change it up too much from what her recipe is, I wanted to try what her pie tastes like. Um, but luckily I'm not using it half and half, so. There we go. That's what I'm doing anyways. Mmm, that is good, guys. Very, very good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we have, I believe, like 30 minutes um, before we get to the crust because the crust says it's chill for one hour. So I think we have about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for a minute. I'm gonna put this. No, I'm not gonna leave it out because the filling, the pie's gonna go into the oven as soon as we're done with that. No. Uh, I'm not gonna cover. I'm just gonna cover this up. Leave it out. I was gonna put it. I might put it in the refrigerator. I don't know yet. I still gotta, I still gotta cook the the crust still some or bake the crust still some. Um, I'll see you guys in about thirty minutes. Okay. See you in a few guys. All right, friends, we're back. So. We are going to now make our crust and get it in the oven. So I um, turned the oven on a few minutes ago. I preheated it to 400. So we're going to preheat the oven for 400. It's going to go into the oven for up to 15 minutes. We go ahead and do the baking of it. So let's get some flour. Let's get some flour on top. And on the bottom, get some little sprinkles on all of that. There we go. And then you want to get some onto your rolling pin. Even though I usually don't usually use this often, this much, whatever. But okay, okay. So now, um, I like to smash it down myself for a few minutes or whatever. Um, get a feel for it. This is real soft and it feels really nice. I was um iffy about it. You don't have to leave the ceramic right on the bottom of it. I want to. I don't feel like making a big ol' mess. I don't want to. Clean. I want to clean up a big ol' mess right now. It's supposed to be the holidays. <laughs> we'll make it easy on ourselves.
So I'm probably gonna have filling left over. I know that for sure because um, it asks for a, um, a deep pie dish. I don't have a deep pie dish. Um, I don't have regular pie dishes. Um, what I was gonna do, but um, we still have like a couple weeks before it's Thanksgiving, so. Um, what my grandma used to do, well, um, my one that passed away, um, she used to make um, sweet potato pies and pumpkin pies, and she had cast iron skillets, and um, she used to make them in the cast iron skillet, and so it'd be a, uh, you know, the cast iron skillet like it would be, it'd be it's way bigger than this. It'd be at least a tub, one and a half times that size, um, and she would get the cast iron skillet, and um, she would make the crust and she would fill up cast iron skillet with the crust um and so you'd have it like about maybe in the bone that thick or so so however big however however thick the or how yeah however big and thick the 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 skillet was how much she was going to do it and this is what she used to do with um pumpkin pie sweet potato pie um i did that once i did um a couple years ago um i got a fresh pie, a fresh pumpkin for the first time and for the first time i did the whole Cooked it up and did all this stuff, pureed it all this stuff with one one of my kids, my, one of my daughter wanted to help me. So it was really cute. Me and her went in and we did that. And we, um, OMG, it was so fun. Um, and so what we did was, um, um at the time we were at my mom's house when we did it, and uh, she, well, I have cast iron skills now, but I didn't have them then. Um, my mom had cast iron skills, so I got one of her cast iron skills, which was like, oh, I want to say it's like two times the size of the, what the roundness of this one is. And so we, we made one that big. <laughs> And I do not like pumpkin pie, okay? That is one pie I do not like. Um, Suzo, I love pumpkin. I do not like it at all, period. Not at all, not whatsoever do I like pumpkin pie. I never have. But when we made that fresh one, and I did it in honor of my grandma, and I did it with the, and it wasn't even hot, it was before the holidays too. We were just doing a, a drive run on it because I had enough pumpkin puree. I made, I made muffins and cupcakes and um, pies and some bread and yeah, we had we had that much pumpkin. Um, so I was I, I was able to do and then also so I did the one pie beforehand and I did two pies like that for um, Thanksgiving that year. Cause we had did it right after like like I said it was right after Halloween and so we did it like that. And so um, that was the first time I, first and only time I ever done the cast iron skillet one. And oh my God, I was in heaven. I was so in heaven with my damn pie. Um, but yeah so. Um, this year I was thinking about doing the same thing possibly. I don't know yet. Okay, so it's ready to go. So what, why I left this under here too was because I thought it would be easier just to roll out. Fold it up and go. Is that fast that was? I never checked the thickness of a meter. That's one of my things. <laughs> I never ever check it. I don't know why I've never done. I've never done it. I just roll it. Once I think is what well, this needs to be, and I'm done with it. I don't even bother with the rest of it all. <laughs> See if it's like some length or whatever. If it fits over it, we're good. So what you want to do when you do this? Some people don't do this, and I did it for a long time. Um, I pat it in to the pie um, plate. Start from the middle. And I start patting outward. And um, what it does is um, goes ahead and you um, end up making sure that you get the pie <coughs> crust in all the cracks and crevices of your pine plates. If you want to say pie tin, but this is a glass pie plate, pie plate. So you want to get into your pie plate. And then when, as you're going, as you know, first you start in the middle. Pat it. You don't want to push too hard. You don't want to like end up like making indentions and tearing your, your crust. So I just go ahead and pat it. And as I'm patting it, I'm just patting it and pushing, putting um, the pressure to go towards the outside of it. And that's why some people grab the whatever ends I'm working at. And then um, that way we get the excess out of there. And you push into the groove, the crease get into the crease as you're doing it. And then um, you wanna pull it up as you're going. That way you get all the excess out. 
and it'll um, go ahead and it'll start laying a little bit more fill out. That's why I'm going to do it too thick. I just end up just working it out. Because once it's in here, I mean, I'm, I'm happy because at least I know it's going to fit. We have it and then they're good. Um, start working it out. And I just make sure when you're doing it, you're, when you're giving the pressures and everything, you just put the pressure, you go outward. Just make sure your pressure goes outward. Okay? So that's what you want to do is make sure your pressure just goes outward. And then um, as you get closer to the crease, you just want to go ahead and push into it. And right there is where I usually go ahead and when I'm pushing in, when I start going around it and pushing in like this, I um, I push um, it in so that way I'm pushing um, the dough into the the curvature, the curvature, or the curvature, the curves of the black light. And um, um, it also makes it a little bit, um, I also make sure when I'm doing that, I'm doing the pressure to make it a little bit flatter so that way you'll, you know, you'll have um, good crust coverage and then also um, it's not going to sit the pie uh, filling is not going to sit on top of it, it's going to go inside of it. So when you cut and everything, you're going to have it inside of it, not sitting on the outside of it. Or when you go to do something with all sense it's falling apart. So that's why I do that. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but to me, ever since I've been doing this, like it does make a difference to me when I, I've noticed when my pies come out different, like they come out like I want them to. So, I mean, um, it may not be nothing fancy that I'm doing that's making it work out better, but to my for myself, it's a trick that I've started doing and I've had no problems with it since. So that's just for me. Like I said, there's a lot of times where I, I, I do certain things and I never question it. If it works out better, I just keep doing it. And then when I start telling you guys about the story about them and then I start thinking about, okay, well, does it even make a difference or whatever? Then I'm like, you know what? Actually, at the end of the day, I really don't care. Because I know that I'm getting my coverage down where I want to, I need to, and my pies are going to come out fine. So, I mean, even if it doesn't do anything at all for the process um i really don't care at the end of the day because as long as it comes out the way i want it to come out and it's been happening ever since i started doing it that's all that matters so yeah and there's uh there's been a few things i've asked myself um after saying it to you guys um if it was uh if that makes a difference or not but at, like i said at the end of the day when i've thought about it after filming and everything i'm like you know what it really doesn't matter i have my way of doing it i like it um in my head that's the way it works and if it doesn't work like that oh well um just let my head be happy with it you know Whatever makes you happy, work with it. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure that we're going up on the side now and just getting the excess. You see how it's grown out a little bit? Some people cut all of this off. I usually tuck it and start working it around so I try getting everything like, all without uniform before I'm done. Because you know some sides are like this is like a little bit thinner, thinner and not as long as this one's thicker, so. I start folding under and I start using the excess going around. So I'll show you guys right now. So we're about done with this one. Okay, so like I was saying, um, if it's too much, like this right here is a lot. For some reason, I don't know why I thought it was going to work for me, but I guess not. Okay, so, people usually just cut it. I'm just going to go ahead and just tear this right here for right now. And so what I do is if I think I need it for an area, I just go ahead and tear off pieces of it. And so just put it together. Sorry, okay, guys. It's just that um, I just started like focusing. <laughs> My focus went to focus. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and grab it underneath. And what I started doing is just going ahead and just folding it.
Do I hear it too much? Hmm. Yeah. And so sometimes also if it doesn't um, start connecting right, I just get a little bit of water on my finger and just go ahead and um, um, just glue it together. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep going around till we get all the way to the other end. Make sure we get it all good. Just go good. Like I said, if we have a part where it's not gonna, it's not connecting in right, just get a little bit of water in your finger and go ahead and um, just use like a, a glue. I, um, I did that trick the last time I made though. I was having a hard time with the part of it and I was like, Oh my god, and when I go to the other side, you know what? Water. Water should work. So I got some water on my finger and was able to put it back together again. Okay, so now so what I'm doing now is I'm getting it and I was um folding it over because I want to have where there's a lip of it because when it comes up here and then when I go to do the dimensions I want to be able to have it where it has like a little indention lip you know, so that way, um, if anything happens, um, if the work goes to overflow, it should have a little bit of a uh, help with the flow. See what I'm doing right there? I grabbed, I pinched some of the dough and I start pushing it across. Try filling right here, but you can see right here to right here, it's about then. See, let's go pinch it. I'm trying to get my hand out the way. So pinch it, pinch and push.
Because you know, we have it all <clears throat> built up. Like I said, we have it right here where there's a little lip now. So we can, like, if we go a little bit too high or whatever, or if it comes up a little high when it's um, baking, it shouldn't flow over too well and it won't flow over too much. So now, I'm going to go ahead and just smash it through right here again. Because if you see, we have, we got a little bit thicker and push it um, away from here. I'm sorry guys, it's just that it's hot in here right now. Like I told you guys, um, um, my kitchen gets so dang hot and I have, it's cold outside. I have the windows open. I'm right here in front of the windows. Fan's going. And I'm like really super, super hot. And I feel like I'm going to get a headache. Uh, when, you know, when you get really hot, you feel like that. Well, that's how I feel right now. Um, so. Just seeing how it's good because we have thick and thin, so it's gonna be like thick ones, crusty, whatever. And have thick crusty, it's not thin. Yeah. So either you can get a fork and just push it down, or I just usually just get my. My um, index and my thumb on one hand, and I get my um. But it's about the same thing. I usually don't press it into both of them though. The other boys are doing it too, it's just that, you know, it's not it's not really important right now. If you want to look it up online, um they have where they'll show you how to do like a bunch of different ways. It doesn't have to be on YouTube either, it could be anywhere. Um That's why I looked the first time I was like, oh how to do press. See right here I'm doing it instead of doing it the round like I was, I'm now doing it as a the pinch, and if you go all big, you can go backwards, you have them like that, or you can go like that. Does anybody like better, Mister? Is better? Yeah, so that's about as good as it's gonna get for now. Um. I'm too busy messing around with it. Um, so now, what it says to do is to put melted butter, which is what I have right here. Brush it on the inside. So that's it for, um, one tablespoon of butter to do this. I melted two because I'm probably gonna put some on the outside of the crust when we go put in the oven. Okay, this is gonna be for after we're done. Now, then I'm gonna ask for next is a quarter cup packed brown sugar. I'm really not saying that I needed some more sugar. Well, I think this is why they put the brown sugar on the bottom of the of the pie crust. I've never heard of this before. It's quite cool, but I think um, it, um, the butter and the, the butter helps caramelize the brown sugar. So I think it might give it a different flavor. So that's why they don't have the, I think that's why there's less sugar side of the pie itself. Cause it's making it for it right here. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know for sure. Uh, there's no explanation to why you do this. It's just, like I said, I've never seen it happen before any other um, sweet potato pie or any pie period. I've never seen this happen or done. So I'm assuming it's to give it a better flavor. 
I mean, I know it's super dope by taste like. I mean, everybody has their own way of doing it. Um, like I said, I don't know. I don't know for sure what the purpose was behind this, or if it's just because. It's because. But I would assume that um, because of the butter and the sugar, it's gonna make it a more of a crust, uh, crunchier or caramelizier um, um, sweetness that will come through into the pie itself. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure or true about it, but it's a good thought though. And so I should put it on the bottom, but I wanted to put it on the sides too. I figure if, that's, if it's gonna do something like that, I would rather have it all over the place. And then I said to put it in the oven for um, 15 minutes on 400. Just take this. Okay, so I will see you guys in a few. When it's time to pull, well, when it's time to get ready to finish this up. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes, my friends. Okay, guys, we're back. So, our crunch is ready. And the way I was doing it, I wasn't paying attention, and I, it came out all deformed, but it's okay. Because it doesn't make it even right now. It's just, this is just a, <clears throat> a how to, learn to, how to get it done. <laughs> um, we're not trying to be perfect about it all. Um, it's not the holiday yet, so we're good. So now I'm gonna put the sweet potatoes inside of here. Well, I guess I was wrong about how this all was going to work out. Because, um, <laughs> yeah, that's all going to fit in there. See, that's it. It's empty. So we're good to go, my friends. Okay, so. Um, as soon as I pulled this um, crust out, I let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then um, the rest of that butter that I had in that little bowl, I just put it on top of the brown sugar. Um, because it was already all dried up, I'm like melting a little bit of dust left in there, so. I just put it inside of the brown sugar. I mean, just put it on top of the brown sugar just to give it some more buttery tasting flavor. Um, right now, I'm trying to get into, make sure we get to the cracks and crevices that I made up here for them. Um, it's not necessary. It really isn't, but I mean, it's just something I'm just doing because I want to. Um, so, see, we fill up the whole thing. I probably put too much, but oh well. That's why I'm putting. Um, this pizza pan underneath it. <laughs> mm, delicious. So we know that that's delicious. Um, and then I got a piece of aluminum foil. I thought I don't even need it because uh, I basically covered um, all of the edges already with the, the filling but it's gonna taste like because it's already starting to brown it so um I'm just covering up the edges so they don't get done black or burnt And then at the end, uh, during the ending, maybe the last 10 minutes or whatever, if you want, you can take it off. And then um, go ahead and just um, let it finish doing its job. See, I've got one, I've cut myself a sheet and then I just cut it into, little, um, into bigger strips. And those strips have a bigger strip. So there we go. Now, now let's go into the oven. Um, I put the, um, I just took it out, like I said, I was starting to say, um, I took it out. Um, the pine crust, and I put it, let it sit on the stove for like 10 minutes. And at the same time, I, I went down and from 400, which is what we had the um, oven set first, I put it to 350. 
And now this pie, from what I understand, can take anywhere from one uh, to one and a half hours to cook at 350. It depends, I guess, how big it is and everything. I don't know. I've never had a pie cook for an hour and 45, an hour and a half or whatever um, when I made one. So I think this one should be done within an hour, probably, more than likely. That's what it usually takes it. Um, so I'm going to take it. Once it's finished, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to sit for a little bit. We'll come back. And um, either we'll just look at it or we'll try it. I don't know yet. So I'll be back um, after it's um, cooled down some. And then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. Until then, my friends, I will see you in a little bit. All right, friends, we are back and it has cooled and it's done. It took um, about 55 minutes. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut into it. We're gonna try it and see how it came out, okay? So give me one second. All right, friends, here we go. So we have our pie right here, our slice, little slice right here. Um, you can put whipped cream or anything you want on it. All right, I'm just gonna go regular, just to give it a try. Bon appetit and cheers, my friends. Bon appetit and cheers. Mmm. Very delicious. Well, go ahead and give me um, give me comments. Um, then if you guys have tried it, or if you or if you did try it, I'm going to try it. Also, um, I hear that Walmart carries. Um, I've already made one. Um, let me know if you guys have ever tried it before. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get um my hands on one, and if I do, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. But this is very good, the homemade, and we'll go ahead and we'll try it. Hopefully, from the store bought one that that's that sold at Walmart. Until next time, guys. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And there's nothing you can do in the kitchen. It's okay to put your food. And I will see you later. Your friend JC, sign out. Bye, guys.